Hey, it's Western Pan for 530 here, and uh, this will be an update on all my reptiles I have in my collection. And first off here, I'll be showing you my two pair of crested geckos. One right here is my female extreme harlequin. And right there is my male flame harlequin, uh, flame slash harlequin. The really nice dorsal pattern is all fired up right now. You can tell he's a male from the bulge right there. And my female is right here. Extreme Harlequin. Really nice patterning on this one. It's almost an orangish color. When she's really fired up, she doesn't really all that. Well, she's kind of is. The camera just doesn't bring out her orange all that good. But yeah, these guys are really cool to, to take care of. And I'll plan on be breeding them either December or January when she gets big enough. She's probably almost. She's probably in the 20, 20 grams somewhere in there. But yeah, that's these guys. Uh, I guess that's it for these two. I'll be moving on to other ones in my collection. I'll take you to him right now. Okay, and right here, we have my long tail lizard. It's doing really good, nice and healthy. Great colors on him. Really cool when he's going after food, lightning fast. But he's been a cool animal to take care of. His tail is about, like, almost a foot, almost a foot long, while he's about two inches in body length which I found pretty interesting when I saw him. But yeah, that's him. Almost like a snake with legs. My mom hates him. <laughs> Always freaks her out when she sits up in my room. But yeah, that's him. Take you on to the other reptiles in my collection. That's, that's him. Next here we have uh, my female pet typhoon leopard gecko with a really really orange carrot tail and you guys are lucky because she just got out of the shed today and she is looking very very gorgeous. You can see the nice purplish color on her head, there's purple spots going down, she has the nice orange and yellow bands going down and then this decent sized carrot tail she has and then the, the black and black and uh, white stripes going down her tail she's probably the most pretty leopard gecko I've ever seen in my opinion <laughs> but yeah another great reptile uh, enjoyed keeping her and uh, got her at the Reptile Expo along with my uh, Crusty Geckos and uh, Southern uh, Razorback I got at the Reading Reptile Expo uh, As I, di I didn't mention I got Daisy from uh, a pet store Rex and uh, Eastern and the Pearl River I got from Turtle Source and Blade I got from uh, Turtle and Tortoise thing and the long tail I got at PetSmart so don't even go into that, I just, I know buying stuff, animals from there is bad, but, eh, whatever. And, uh, Bella is, uh, toad hatched. And, yeah. And the three toads I got from, uh, Triple R Reptiles. And, uh, I guess that's that. Move on to the next reptile. And, uh. Have a look at this stunning female. Uh, I guess we'll go now. And we're, here we have my American toad, Bella, who is just hanging out in her tub. Really nice looking toad. Nice and healthy. It's like a pig.
she's really nice for an amphibian. She doesn't really like being touched or anything, but great personality. Always inquisitive. And a pig at eating too, as I said earlier. But yeah, she's a really nice dude and enjoy having her. That's, that's it. all I can say about her. Move on to the next animal. That's her. And here we have my female and male pair of three-tailed box turtles. One right here is my female, Gracie. Pretty little girl. Nice colors on her. Nice healthy turtle. She's in the, the kitty pool upstairs, along with him. We're doing great, eating good. And I got the UVB and two lamps and a heat lamp for him up there. In the last video, I went to the pet store. Got all new UV lights for the turtles. There, that's her. Here's George. My male free toad. Really amazing colors. You can see the orange on his face. Not liking being out of his tank. Nice healthy shell. Nice and hard. Hopefully to be able to breed them. Alright, some too. Moving on to the other reptiles. That's that. And here we have my female western painted daisy. Who isn't like being out? She's really nice looking female western painted. Nice red patterning on her plastron. Nice red patterns, nice oranges and yellows. Real nice and healthy. It's like a pig, also, like most of my animals. And that right there is an actual shell rod. It's when our shell chipped outside, it's still healing. So it isn't shell rot, which is good, but just that the the green and the scute got chipped off. That'll take some time to heal. But yeah. When she did have show rod, it's all gone now. Just kind of these scooch she needs to shut off right here and here. But other than that, she's perfect Western pain. I got her from a pet store that wasn't taking great care of her. Wait, she was the first turtle I got. But yeah, that's her. So I'll stop here. She's starting to get really fidgety. But yeah, that's her. Moving on to the next one. And here we have my male western painted turtle Rex that I just got a couple weeks ago. He's doing good. Real nice coloring on him. Plastron's a little, the black pattern is a little paler than Daisy's but he's still a really nice looking turtle. Uh, kind of skittish but it's kind of cool to have a couple of turtles like that. The real long nails, which means he's a male. <laughs> and a fat tail. And the vents on the, long, on the outside of the, more on the outside of the shell. So he's a definite male, and hope to breed him and Daisy. Got him from the turtle source. Yeah. Guess that's all I can say about him. Real nice looking turtle. All the adults are in the 150.
That's that about him. Moving on to the next ones. And here I have my female light colored southern painted. Really nice colors on her shell and on her on her legs and face. And she's doing really good. The scar on the back of her neck is completely gone from my other older eastern painted spot I had. Nails are starting to grow back. And it's not liking this. But yeah, she's a healthy turtle. Eats good. Really good temperament for the most part. It was just basking. So she's kind of pissed off at me right now. But, a good turtle nonetheless. And here we have my female Razorback Musk, uh, Caroline. She's about five inches, she's full grown. Real nice turtle to have, uh, has a really good temperament. Gets along with the rest of my turtles. Really like the musk species in general. And Razorback is probably my favorite. But, uh, that's her. Oh, can't really say much more else about her, but great turtle to have and a great uh, part of my collection and a great pet to have. And now I'll move on to the next uh, reptile. And here's the next reptile that I have. It's my northern black knob sawback map turtle. Got him off of Turtle and Tortoise Sink. He's a really, really, really pretty turtle. He has the most amazing flash drawn of any northern back I've seen. He has like a reddish orange hue to it. An almost perfect shell. Well, pretty much a perfect shell. He has really nice big knobs. For his size, he's grown a lot since I've had him. It's probably two inches plus now. But yeah, nice and feisty. Good patterning on him, and another great turtle. He's gotten a lot darker skin color than he did as a as a hatchling. But yep, that's played. Well, I guess I'll go on to the next animal. And here we have uh, my little baby Eastern painted that I just got. He's doing good. Eating a lot for his size. <laughs> really nice colors on him. Very well bred turtle. Really enjoy working with Turtle Source and getting these guys. And yeah, just a, another great turtle. Real cute, too. With his little hand. But, yeah, like I said, that's a little baby spot. Not much else to say about him. Uh, guess I'll move on to the next one. Say bye to everybody. And finally, we have my Purr map that I got with the three other ones at Turtle Source. And he is practically as perfect as you can get. I mean, he has aw awesome colors on him. He sticks his head out. He has the most amazing head pattern of the Purr River I've ever seen. He has nice, plain yellow plastron nice high spine trademark of the pro river yeah. can't really see it yet he has really nice oranges and yellows and greens 
all around is just a really nice healthy turtle. Eats very well. And probably one of my favorite uh, turtles. Yeah, favorite map turtle. Oh, I love all my turtles. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the, the facial pattern right there. Really cool. It's like he has a, a mask on. But yeah, that's him. Hope you've enjoyed the, this up close and personal look at all my pets. And uh, hope you look forward to the next video I do. Uh, I guess that's all I, all I have here. Comment, rate, subscribe, everybody. See you guys.